I did an ultimate test, so let me share with you the experience I've now gained with the new AI video platform One 2.1 from Alibaba with Skyreels, Kling 1.6, Luma Dream Machine, Ray 2, Minimax and Runway. To me, the most important thing is always prompt adherence, meaning how consistent are my instructions visualized throughout the video. As the title may have already indicated, this tutorial will be fairly emotional. I would like to do a kind of casting to show how the individual AI video platforms realize facial expressions. For this purpose, I used Midjourney to create these four historical figures, each of them from a different era. If you're interested, I've already done a tutorial on camera angles with these characters. In it, I took a close look at some very exciting alternative camera angles, in addition to those that are quite familiar. In order to keep an overview in this series of tests, I will always show you the video results of the individual AI platforms in the same order. One AI first and runway last. So without further ado, let's get started. The first example shows the emotion, laugh and be happy. The prompt for this reads, a man starts laughing. As you can see, the Viking Ragnar is an excellent choice for this. If we compare the results with each other, we see that both One AI and Luma Dream Machine generate a very good result. Sky Reels and Kling, on the other hand, look a little over contrasted and the skin has very unnatural wrinkles, almost like latex. With Minimax, the teeth are very unattractive and the result with Runway was the famous finger in the pie. Actually, it's just missing the point, very strange. In the next example, we test the emotion, sadness and disappointment. The prompt reads, a man starts crying. Who would fit better than the infamous pirate Blackbeard? This is another example of the strength of Alibaba's new platform, One AI. Blackbeard lowers his head without really bursting into tears. He knows how to conceal the pain well, but you can see it. In Luma's case, there is another aspect that reflects all the despair, the mouth and the teeth. The realizations of sky reels and cling are surprisingly weak. They seem almost static. The same applies to Minimax. However, if you take a closer look at this result, you will notice very watery eyes. However, this doesn't look particularly realistic because tears don't work like that. I was surprised by Runway's version, this slightly shy, desperate portrayal. To me, phase two therefore has three winners, Luma, One AI, and Runway. In example three, we test the emotion, surprise and annoyance with William Wallace. The prompt reads, the man looks extremely shocked with wide open eyes. Only One AI follows the prompt, wide open eyes very precisely. The results from Skyreels, Kling, Minimax and Runway are relatively static. Luma Dream Machine blithely ignored the prompt, the camera is stationary, and used handheld filming device instead. Ignoring this shortcoming, however, Luma's result is very well realised. The movement clearly illustrates his annoyance. You don't want to stand in his way. In the last example of the first round, Joan of Arc helps us to clarify the emotion, anger and aggression. The prompt reads, the woman screams aggressively. Although Luma's realisation is relatively close to the prompt, this version is rather hilarious. This kind of fidgeting is just unusable. The entire scene is far too exaggerated. All the other platforms are somewhat more subtle. If I had to make a choice, I would probably choose Kling's result, because the realisation between prompt specification and prompt denial is probably the best. I don't like the way Minimax deals with the subject at all. The mouth looks very strange. In the runway result, the AI animated a dot of light below the nose and the face is blurred. This is not usable. In addition to the main focus on faces, it was important to me in round two to see how the AI platforms realize various complex prompt specifications using an entire figure as a model. I narrowed the comparisons down to the one AI, sky reels and cling models. The first result is surprising. The prompt is very long and reads, rain pouring down his scarred face. His soaked fur cloak clings to him as thunder roars and lightning flashes. The camera slowly pushes in, capturing his intense gaze as rain streams down. 
emphasising the storm's raw power and his unshaken resolve. Only one AI solved this task, and absolutely perfectly. In direct comparison, the results of Sky Reels and Kling are very weak. Apart from a zooming camera, there is little movement to be seen. Therefore, the clear winner of this challenge is one AI. In the next example with Blackbeard, the prompt is quite challenging and reads, a polar bear enters from the right and looks into the camera. The camera zooms out. None of the platforms follow the instructions, even though a lot of training data on polar bears should be available. In all three realisations, the figure moves forward, but there is no polar bear to be seen, nor does the camera perform the zoom out command. It merely follows the person moving forward. If I had to choose a version, my choice would be Kling. Next up is William Wallace again. The prompt here is... The man talks angrily and points to the camera. Handheld filming device. Once again, you have to give one AI credit for the absolutely perfect realisation. Sky Reels and Kling once again fall well behind. In Sky Reels, at least the character moves. With Kling, apart from a little smoke or fog in the background, there is nothing to see. The winner by a huge margin is clearly one AI. It's realised absolutely perfectly. Very dynamic, very motivated and very aggressive. That's exactly what the prompt demanded. In the last example of round two, we return to Joan of Arc. The prompt is short and relatively simple. The camera rotates around the subject. Interestingly, one AI's approach is wrong this time because the person rotates around herself. The camera should actually rotate around the subject. The best version is therefore Kling. Let me now show you the different platforms I used to create the individual videos. If you wanted to use One AI and Luma Dream Machine Ray 2, then use Fal.ai for example. You have to log in via GitHub and you're ready to go. Click on Explore at Fal.ai and use the search box below. If you enter One, for example, the corresponding AI platform is immediately available in the list on the right, Featured Models. The same applies to Luma Dream Machine Ray 2, of course. If you click on it, the corresponding video model will open. To be able to use this platform, you first need to purchase credit. Here you enter the prompt, here you upload the image, here you select the resolution. The default setting for the inference steps is 30, but I always use 40 to achieve slightly better results. As you can see, the entire process is relatively simple. With Luma Dream Machine Ray 2, it's the same procedure. Enter prompt, upload image, select aspect ratio, resolution, and duration. Interestingly, you can also set whether the video should be output as a loop. To start the conversion in file.ai, simply press the purple Run button at the bottom right. You will then see the finished result on the right. If we want to use Sky Reels, then switch to the skyreels.ai website. There you have several options. First, via the navigation on the left, via the large field AI video, and the selection Recent Creations. If I click on one of these, I jump to my dashboard in the Video Creation area. At the bottom, you will find the central dialog box for entering your prompt. You can also upload an image there. To the right of it, enter or copy your prompt. To start, simply press the white button on the right. It is similar with Kling AI. Here too, you can access your dashboard via AI videos on the left, or you can use the large field in the middle. Once there, switch to the image to video section. Currently, you always jump to elements by default, but we don't need that here. Now click on Frames. You can upload your image here, set it as the start frame. You can enter your prompt here. The great thing about Kling is the Get Inspirations feature. Kling shows you various options for defining the camera movement. This is very helpful. However, you can change the selection via Get Inspirations at any time. For this test, I need the setting the camera is stationary. Below this, we also find input options for duration and negative prompts. For Minimax, click on Create on the left. 
you will then be taken to your video creation dashboard. Select Image to Video at the top left, enter your prompt here and upload an image of your choice. As you can see, the user interface is also relatively straightforward. Similar to Kling, the user has the option of choosing from different camera angles. This is very well done and offers great variations. To start the video creation, click on the pink button at the bottom right, where it says 30. Finally, to Runway, you will first be taken to this homepage. Now click on Get Started at the top right. This will take you to an overview page. Click on Start New Session to get to the video creation area. Upload an image here. Below this, you will find the Prompt Input area, then click on the Generate button. Well, that's all the different ways to create videos with AI. Of course, there are also other platforms such as Creo, Sora, VO2, Pika, and similar. Now you've just seen how I use this. I have to say, One AI has set completely new standards, especially in terms of prompt adherence. The quality of the videos is very impressive. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.